breast radiation planning for whole breast. Um, SIM, deliver radiotherapy within six to eight weeks of surgery. We're gonna do the CT SIM supine on a breastboard with both arms up, meaning they're abducted and externally rotated. The head is turned away from the side of the breast that's going to be treated. You do a non-contrast CT, you can consider DIBH, and you scan from the angle of the mandible down at the lung bases. You're wiring out the scars, the clinically palpable breast tissue, and the borders. The bottom of the clavicular head, the mid sternum, two centimeters below the breast and two centimeters laterally, i.e. the mid axillary line. Volumes for the breast, the breast CTV is the breast tissue, but it extends to the anterior surface of the pec posteriorly, and then you crop it five millimeters from the skin. The pec and the serratus are excluded from the breast CTV. The breast PTV is simply a seven millimeter expansion on that, but again, you crop it five millimeters from the skin. The breast PTV eval, um, is PTV crop five millimeters from the skin and from the anterior ribs and includes the muscle. The boost, your boost GTV is your seroma, clips, and scar. The boost CTV is the GTV plus one centimeter, again cropped five millimeters from the skin and posterior at the anterior pec, so it's not including the muscle. The boost PTV is the CTV plus seven millimeters. The boost PTV eval is the boost PTV crop five millimeters from the skin and at the pec serratus not including the muscle in contrast to the PTV eval of the breast. This makes sense since we want to evaluate what we are targeting, not simply what is included in the expansion for motion control. Planning for the breast, you set the medial and lateral tangents. Make sure the volumes are covered by the medial tangent. The deep field border should be non-divergent and coplanar. Do this by either half beam blocking or rotating the gantry to align the posterior edge of the tangent. Set the medial gantry first to confirm that the field is off of the contralateral breast. You then rotate the gantry and collimator as needed to avoid the heart. The top of the field is at the level of the axillary vessels on plain film at the inferior border of the clavicular head. You flash two centimeters of the breast anteriorly. A high tangent is such that the top of the field is at the inferior border of the humeral head. You want to limit hot spots to less than 110%. There are ways to address hot spots, including changing the beam weighting, changing the calculation point, changing the beam energies, doing field and field segments, or adding in a wedge. The isocenter is set centrally at midline in the mid axilla. Reference isocenter is then shifted to a virtual isocenter within the breast for treatment or within breast, um, and uh, then at the calc point. The normalization or calc point is two-thirds of the distance away from the skin to the posterior non-divergent field edge in the midline of the beam. Radon right Review says it's generally 0.5 centimeters anterior to the chest wall lung interface at the level of the isocenter. For large separation of breasts greater than 24 centimeters, you may use photon energies greater than 10 MV to keep the max in homogeneity less than 10% and field segmentation techniques or use prone positioning to decrease the separation. Use caution with higher energy beams as there may be underdosing of superficial tissues. The boost volume, try um, electrons first. Energy, which allows the 90% isodose line to cover the target on FOSS. Use 9 MeV to 12 MeV. If you need 15 MeV or higher, go to mini tangents or photons. You want to cover uh, less than 30% of the whole breast. Again, the dose for intact breast should be 50 and 25, which is standard 40.05 and 15, or 42.56 and 16. If a boost was intended but not feasible due to, say, a complicated surgical bed, the boost should be 10 gray and 2 gray fractions. Consider 14 gray for close or 16 for positive margins. In terms of constraints for an ipsilateral lung, it should be V20 less than 15. If you're doing a high tangent, V20 less than 20. For a three field plan, V20 less than 30. For coverage of IMNs, V20 less than 35. Contralateral lung, V5 less than 10. Total lung should be V20 less than 35 and V40 less than 20%. The heart, V20 less than 5%. Mean, um, less than one to two gray. You can bring the mean up to five gray if it's needed and you're treating the IMNs. You can drop the third interspace uh, to decrease the dose. For every increase in one gray mean heart dose, the relative risk of cardiovascular disease increases by 7%. There are ways to mitigate uh, cardiac dose for cardiac protection. That's changing the gantry or collimator angle, simulating the patient prone, doing a mixed field approach with electrons and photons like for IMNs, doing DIBH, doing IMRT, randomized data from the British, half of inverse plan and Canadian's forward plan. For contralateral breast, you get a max of three gray. Coverage, 95% of the PTV gets 95% of the dose. The entire breast should be covered by the 98% isodose line. 
the entire tumor bed is covered by the 100% isodose line, the boost target covered by the 90% isodose line, avoid 107% hotspots, consider wedges or field and field.